Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to learn about the detailed explanation how to use the form array in Angular 18 components to manage a dynamic form. So how we will manage a dynamic form? Let's try to understand this one. So now I will try to go through this example only a profile editor. So that allows us user to add multiple aliases. I will try to show you. So now, for example, let's say that in our profile form, so we need to define the form form array control. So how we can define it? So let's say that here we are having the zip, right? So this zip is also completed. So this is the form group. In, uh, down this form group, I will be having an aliases. Let's say zoom aliases. And this one will be a this dot form builder dot group. Uh, sorry, form builder dot array. We need to use the array. And in this one, so you need to have an array. So you can have an empty array or otherwise. So by default, you can add one control. That's it. So now we have created the control. So here we have initialized this one. Okay, I have initialized, I have initialized this one with one control. So now here we are able to get this error because we are not able to set the value. So what I will do it is I will comment out this one for the time being. You are fine. So now here we have set the value, right? So now what I need to do, so let's say, right? <coughs> if you want to access the form array control means, so you can have a simple uh, getter method or something like that. So here you can write get aliases, aliases, and this returns the form array, form array. And here you will be able to have written this dot profile form dot get off form aliases aliases as form array that's it so this is the get aliases and if you want to add an alias i will try to show you that one also so add alias so we need to add the dynamic uh, form control right so here this dot aliases dot push push off this dot form builder dot control of empty that's it so now this is our array right in this array we are trying to push it so here aliases we are able to get a profile as form array and i'm pushing it and if you want to get the form a uh, form value means so you know that form value so you can have a getter function get uh, form value you can have it something like this and here uh, return this dot profile form dot value all the time if you want instead of writing like this we can use the form value so now that's it so now we have created get alias and all those things so now let's go ahead and create the template so for creating the template what we need to do so here let's go into our html file and in this html file below the zip code so what i want to do i want to display the uh, form array so for this one what i need to do is i need to have a div and for this one you need to have form array name form array name is equal to so what is the name i want to display so aliases and in this aliases so you can have something like h2 aliases okay i can show like this aliases so now here so we need to add the thing so first of all i will add a button okay so here you will be having a button sorry i will be having a button and here i can use add alias okay and for this add alias so here you can use plus and for this one at the click event you can use something like click is equal to add alias and this one is inside the form so you can create type is equal to button why because if you don't mention this one will become a by default submit button fine so now here so now i need to show the remaining aliases right so here i can loop over the for loop so at the rate for loop sorry at the rate we will try to use you can use ng for loop also not a problem at the rate for loop item of items so there is nothing but uh, alias of sorry alias of aliases so we have the variable right aliases dot controls so we'll be having one method that is that is nothing but property controls dot controls so we'll be having and also if you want to have the index and all those things means we need to maintain the index so you can have maintain the index that is nothing but a uh, lot i can do it is so here i can use 
something like let index is equal to dollar index okay we can have it like this or otherwise i also you can maintain it not a problem so now let's go into our code so what code we need to do so here you can have something like inside this one so i want to show the label first or otherwise due and here you will be having the label sorry label and in this label so what i want to do i want to show the alias hyphen and here i can show the index so that is nothing but the zero one something like that you will be able to get it and here um, what i can do another one is the index so here input and that one will be something like uh, we can have another div let's go top yeah so input type is equal to text and here you can have an id id is equal to alias hyphen sorry alias hyphen and you can use it something like this also not a problem and and this one will be index and here you can have the form con form control name so the form control name is form why because we are using the form control name form control name is equal to index that's it so now we are using the alias so here you will be able to see one input value alias iphone zero something like that you will be able to see it so now when i try to click on the button so let's try to click on the button so you will be able to see alias one so you are able to add dynamically the alias values so now if you want to check the value for this one means so we can check it directly by clicking on the submit button i will try to show you at the bottom so do here i can show the form value so form h3 i can have something like h3 form value and here i can show the pre form value let's go json so this is a json pipe i will try to explain you about this json pipe uh, in our later when we are learning the pipes thing so just we need to import the json pipe that's it so now if you try to see the output let's try to see the output for this one so let's refresh this page so now here so we have added these all the form array name and all those things so that's it so let's try to see why why this one is taking so much time to load i don't know so this will happen to our system sometimes i don't know why it will take some time so i'm re restarting my server again so now here so i have restarted my server now it is working fine so the first name and all those things we are able to see it right now if you try to up alias if you try to update the alias so here you will be able to see it and if i click on the add alias so you will be able to have another one and this is the value so like this you can able to update the alias values so here we are able to get the alias thing and here if you try to update the values so here oh sorry we have removed this out updated values right so fine so now we are able to uh, update these all the things we are able to update it so now you will be able to see all the values that got updated in this form so this is how we will be updating the form value so now i will try to explain you so first one is we we need to import the form array from the angular form so first one is we need to import the form array from the angular forms so for type information so next one is the form array is defined as a part of the profile form initialized with one control to hold the first alias you can easily add more controls dynamically the next one is the getter alias allows easy access to the form array from the template without needing to repeat the get method so just i have used it adding an alias so add alias also i have used it so here we will be pushing one by one into the form array and the last one is the displaying thing the form array we have used the form control name and we have used the for loop thing in order to show you the details and all those things so that's it so this is the a uh, form array using of the form array in the angular reactive form so using form array it is a powerful way to manage the dynamic forms in the angular 18 it allows you to add and remove the controls without needing to define each control with a unique name the above example which we have shown you provides a clear step by step guide on step setting up and using a form array within a standalone component complete with a practical use case i have explained you so hope you understood about this form array concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you